What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because Master Duel just announced that the Ixies event, their first ever event, will be taking place starting February the 17th, which is sometime later this week. And essentially what that means is that every deck is going to have to be at least somewhat Ixies based and I believe that's the only summoning mechanic you can use. Now we don't have that much information yet about the event, but what we do know is that it's going to be based around Ixies monsters. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 budget anti Ixies cards that you can use to help you win some games in this Ixies event. Now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. All right, so let's just get right into it. Honestly, let's just dive right into it right here. And we have 10 cards right here. Again, you guys can see I said budget. And what budget means is that there is no ultra rares. Everything here is going to be super rare or under. And to be honest with you, I'm going to explain some of the super rares. And these might not even be that good in some situations, depending on what deck you choose to play, right? So we're going to start off here with Flying Seas. Now, if you guys don't know how Flying Sea works, it's when your opponent normal or special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. Now, you might be thinking, why are you giving your opponent an extra free monster? The end of the effect says the controller of this card cannot Ixie summon. When you drop a Flying Sea and your opponent, because the best way for people to out Flying Sea was really to either link it away, or they would have to put it in attack position and crash into you. Now, pretty much you can't link it away, because I'm assuming in this Ixie's event, you can't use the link summoning mechanic. So you, you're really stuck with, oh my god, I have to pass my turn. I have to literally put this in attack position, go into battle phase. That also has to assume that your opponent is going second and they have a battle phase. And that also has to assume that you have a monster in attack position that they can crash into, right? Because if you have an AC's monster, but it's in defense position, they can't crash into it. This pretty much shuts down their turn. So Flying Sea is an insane card against AC's X. Now the next card here is a little bit of a spicy card. So this card is Power Filter. Now Power Filter was actually very teched in when Zodiac was very meta back in the day. And the reason for that is because neither player can special summon monsters with a thousand or less attack. Now in Master Duels, Zodiac, Dryden, is at one and zodiac is a very playable deck if you just activate your power filter because the extra deck monsters all gain attack based off of their materials they actually can't summon any of their ixies monsters because they all have less than a thousand attack on summon so power filter literally shuts out zoo completely power filter is one of those cards where against the zodiac matchup specifically is very very strong now it may not be powerful against all ixies base decks so that's why this is kind of one of those things where i was saying earlier the super rares even though super rares are still pretty budget it. the super rares themselves like something like this it all kind of depends on where the event kind of goes how the event is going to be played because again we don't know that many details so again if we can expect something like zodiac to be played power filter would be extremely extremely powerful so for the next card this next card is just a rare to be honest with you and again like you guys can see there's no ultra rares but again xc's encores is just a rare target a face up xc's monster your opponent controls and then detach all the materials from it then you can return that monster to the extra deck so pretty much this card outs any Ixies based monster and the best part about this is Rongo Miniad is a very very powerful card in Master Duel and this card outs Rongo Miniad. That's the best part about this card. So this card pretty much outs those big pesky boss monsters, those Ixies monsters that you really can't out any other way. Next we are going on to some trap cards and some of these trap cards are really really insanely broken. So Grisail Prison is a really really good card against Ixies decks. So if you control a monster that was either Tribute, Ritual, or Fusion Summoned until the end of your opponent's next turn, neither player can Synchro or Ixies Summon, right? And then Ixies synchro monsters on the field also cannot attack and their effects are negated i will say this though this is the thing with this card and again this comes back to why i said the super rares or some of the super rares that i'm showing you guys might not even be that relevant and the reason why i say this is because if this is going to be an ixies based event where you can't use other mechanics it means that the fusion summoning and the ritual summoning will not take place now again it all depends on how the event happens and what kind of rules they put in place because if you're playing a deck something like true draco where you can abuse the tribute summoning then you can use something like grisail prison however if they make a rule where like you have to ixi summon at least like once a game or they ban certain cards like custom ban lists so that you can't use decks like eldritch or true draco then this card becomes not as powerful but this card if you are able to play something like true draco is insane powerful because you can you always have a tribute summon monster on your side of the field and then you're pretty much locking your opponent out of ixy summoning completely so again this card is a 50 50 some of these cards again depends on what you're playing so you guys have to keep in mind that when you're crafting these cards and when you choose to go into this event you have to really pick what deck you're playing and then from there you pick the cards that best suit your deck right now the next card here is also a super rare ixy's universe you target two face up ixy's monsters on the field you send both of them to the graveyard then you special summon an ixy's monster from your extra deck except a number monster and then you put this on it as a material 
the monster that you summon has to be a rank lower or rank equal to the number that you send so if you send two rank fours you can summon a rank eight or a rank seven but uh yeah this card is insanely insanely powerful the downside to this card though is that your opponent has to have two Ixies monsters on the field now Technically, you can send your own, so that's not the worst in the world, but you don't really want to be using this card where you're sending your own Ixies monster. But you could also argue that like, hey, I can go one for one and then summon back my own monster. Could be powerful as well. So yeah, Ixies Universe is a really good generic card against any real Ixies based deck, so this card is insanely powerful, insanely strong. And now the next card is just a normal card that I feel like people are completely looking over and I haven't seen this card talked about at all, and that is Mischief of the Gnomes. So this turn, you reduce the levels of all monsters in each player's hand by one. If your opponent is playing a rank 4 spam deck, they can't make rank 4s. All their monsters are going to be rank 3s, right? But the thing is, it does affect you as well. So again, this is one of those cards where it depends on what deck you're playing. If you're playing a deck like True Draco or a trap based deck, you guys can play this. The next effect is you can banish this card from the graveyard and then reduce the levels of all monsters in each player's hand by 1. So after you use this card and you stop your opponent, while it's in the graveyard, on your opponent's next turn, you can activate the effect to essentially do it again. If you can play this card, this card can shut out a lot of Ixie base decks next another card is forbidden apocrypha you declare one monster card this is kind of like dimensional uh barrier over here so they're kind of very similar cards so you can declare one monster type either fusion synchro or ixies and if two or more monsters of the declared type are on the field so if your opponent controls two or you control one your opponent controls one you make each player send all monsters of that type from their field to the graveyard so the nice thing about this card is once you set it up you can let your opponent kind of let's say you set up this card you can let your opponent make a couple ixies monsters then use the forbidden apocrypha and then they have to send into the graveyard so that's why this card is pretty good now dimensional barrier is similar to the card but it's it's very different in the sense of you can't summon that declared type so barrier you can call ixies and neither you or your opponent can summon it for that turn apocrypha is of course a little bit more budget it's just a normal card but if you guys already have or can craft a dimensional barrier i definitely would recommend this card this card does the same thing essentially it's just a little bit better because you declare it you can't summon on that turn but the thing is you're going to be mostly using this on your opponent's turn so most of the time you're not going to be summoning ixies monsters on your opponent's turn anyways and then when it comes back to your turn you can just do whatever you want so that's why dimensional barrier is very powerful another card that's very similar to mischief of the gnomes but a little bit different because it's a continuous where it's like reduce the level of all monsters your opponent controls by one so this card is insanely powerful because it's just a continuous card it stays up on the field and on top of that it's like literally every time my opponent summons a monster their monster levels are reduced by one so if they're playing a rank four base deck all their monsters are gonna be level three and this is just a rare so i definitely recommend playing this card really in any deck you're playing you guys can play this card because it only affects your opponent lastly we are playing one card called and the band played on this is also a continuous trap it is a super rare and neither player can special summon monsters with the same level as those that they control so again this kind of card is it's very detrimental to you if you're playing an Ixies base deck because you can't summon two level four monsters let's say or two level three monsters right as soon as you control a level four monster you can't summon another level four monster now if you're playing again a trap based deck a deck that's not really summoning Ixies monsters this card is insanely powerful because now your opponent who wants to Ixie summon if they summon a level four they can't summon another level four to make their Ixies monster. So that's why End the Band Played On is a very, very powerful card. It's also continuous, so it stays up on the field, which means that if your opponent doesn't draw into a Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister, something like that, then they're kind of stuck with this card and you can just beat them from there. So that's it. So that's 10 cards, 10 budget cards here, nothing ultra rare that you guys can play for this Ixies event. Now, again, we don't know exactly what the rules are gonna be. We don't know exactly how the event is going to be run. However, like just in general, I think this covers a lot of different strategies. And the best part about it is if they say something like, oh, you can't play Eldritch or you can't play True Draco. It's like, okay, well then you can cut some of these cards that are good in True Draco, but play other ones. So many card options, you guys can try them out yourselves. And the best part about this, again, like I said, this is all budget. You don't have to use any of your ultra rare dust for this. You can really use just your normal and super rare dust. That's all you need. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now I will say though, if you guys have any other options, any other ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. That's how we get better together as a community. But I think this Ixies event is going to be really, really fun. Now again, we don't really know all the rules and all the limitations to this Ixies event, but I hope I provided you guys with a bunch of options. So no matter where they decide to take this event, you have an option to play. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.